NC is bringing the trade show directly to you. We'll be going live, demoing machines, answering your questions, and providing significant discounts, just like you'd see at Surfaces, SEMA, and NBAA. Tune in with us and be automatically entered to win thousands of dollars in NC machines, tools, and binding tape giveaways. Join us when we go live. Hey everybody, welcome to NC's live virtual trade show. It's exciting stuff, something different. We didn't anticipate this, but we hope this is a help to you guys. We really want it to be a help. It's our first go at it. Any feedback you have during, after, on what you'd like to see or what you'd like to see covered, there will be limitations, but you know, definitely fire away, and we're gonna try to accommodate any way that we can. A um, little bit about NC. NC is a family-owned business, the same family since 1947, when my grandfather and uncle started the company. We take a lot of pride in our workmanship, uh, expedient surface, same-day repairs, uh, same-day supply shipping. We, we don't like to wait for anything, and the last thing we ever want to make our customers do is wait. Um, and really, that's our focus every day, just try to put out some precision machines we know are going to last you a lifetime if you take care of them, as well as if you need something, we want to be there to accommodate right away. Um, NC machines are made in the same place, the same way since day one, whether it's a portable binder, portable serger, or the table model binders. You know, when we first invented the industry back in 1959 with the bobbinless binder, the first of its kind. Um, that's important to us. We pay extra to have them made here in the USA as well as Japan. So the quality on NC binders and sergers and tools is paramount. Um, you want to go to the job site every day or the workroom comfortable what you're working with and know it's going to give you um, a lifetime of results. So um, essentially, we're going to dive right in with tools. And uh, before we get to that, we have some social media platforms where you guys can keep abreast with everything that we're doing, whether it's something like this, tools, specials, uh, binders that we bring to market, whatever the case, find us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and of course our website. And our website has all in-action videos of all our machines. We've launched some new machines this year. Whether or not you guys have seen them, I'm not sure. But if you're following us here, you're going to see them. And you should know what's happening in the industry. First category would be tools. Why tools? Essentially, you want to streamline your operation, make your daily work easier, something that can make your work more precise and save you time. That's really the idea of a tool, just like any other industry. So let's jump right in with the first tool, Ryan, which should be our model beveler. Model beveler, a lot of people will just call it the carpet binder's best friend. We picked that up from a customer. The beveler will shear high piled rugs on exact height and angle. You'll see me here going around an area rug, which you can do in seconds. You always have your beveler hooked up to a vacuum. It's going to suck out those fibers and give you a beveled, angled, exact edge on a rug, which is great for high piled carpets or even just to have a beveled look. Um, it's made in the USA. I have one right over here, actually, just on display. I'm sure many of you have it. A lot of our clientele has it. If you don't, that is something you should truly consider. Um, if that's something to have in your carpet binding toolbox, that's the first tool to look at, for sure, especially with the advent of thicker rugs. Um, the next tool we're going to take a peek at is our model NC311. The NC311 is essentially um, will perform similarly to the beveler. It's a handheld beveling tool which helps you shear on exact height and angle. So you're, think of it like a glorified barber tool. And you're going to hold this in your hand at a 45 degree angle. Is it going to be as exact as the beveler? No. But if you have something that's going to, you know, that doesn't, doesn't warrant the beveler purchase, it's a quick job or something you want to uh, just use a couple times over the course of the year, the NC311 is a great little tool to consider. Now moving on, we're probably going to jump into our model NCS. Yep, here it is. NCS Top Shear. This tool is great for the carpet cleaner, someone who does custom rug work, someone who is handling rug restoration, and also OEMs. You know, a lot of the carpet mills purchase these from us. It's literally a tool that you're going to push along the surface of the carpet, no skill required, and it's going to eliminate those fuzzies, 
uneven pile heights even gets rid of discolored pile. After a while, carpet pile, as you guys know, will get worn, will get discolored. Um, you can set the shear up to one quarter inch at a time. You wanna go a little less than that, but it can handle one quarter on your plush carpets, uh, cut we pile carpets, not NC. loop. And essentially, you can pause it, please. Pause that, please. Okay. You're going to push it across, and it's going to bring back the color, clarity, and pattern definition of your rugs. That's also a USA-made tool that our family came up with about seven or eight years ago. We would recommend NC uh, carpets to everybody because uh, yeah, yeah. they just mm -hmm. bring you in and make you feel comfortable, and, 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 you, and you realize that, you know, that they do care about you, and you're going to get what you need from them. All right, guys, we're going to jump into our carpet cutters. Guys, listen, if you have any questions, fire away. That's what we're here for. That's what we've been asking you guys to do on all the social media, and we're hoping that you guys will be involved with this. So send along your questions if you're live on the feed, watching from home, whatever the case, and uh, you know, we'll be happy to answer them. We can take questions now or after. If you fire away, and we'll see if we can get that answered for you before the end of the show. Your first cutter is going to be model speed cut. Speed Cub has become our most popular tool. It's a handheld tool. It's extra heavy duty. We'll cut through just about any carpet you have. Initially made for turf and sports track, carpet is really a walk in the park for it. Um, it comes with a carry case, comes with push button sharpening, and the ease of use for the, the ease of cutting for this tool, I can't explain it till you use it. Um, once you cut with it, it's, it really is a time saver. Makes your life easy and provides precision cuts. Um, similar tool, also made for us. Both of these tools come out of Italy is our next model, TT02, which we have a couple of images on it, I believe. And the TT02, not the greatest image, sorry, we didn't realize it would crunch like this, but the TT02 is the cordless version with an 18 volt lithium ion battery of the speed cut. So if you're a cordless guy, you want to be cordless, the only thing we recommend, have a backup battery with it. And we're going to move on down the line to the next cutting tool in our arsenal. Cove base isn't as popular as it used to be, but we still sell cove base binders, high speed binders, and of course the high speed cutters. Here's our six blade cove base cutter which in a single pass will cut six four inch strips. The blades are easily adjustable and you can leave two or three blades in there if you wish, or four blades if you do six inch base. And they're telling me there's a question, so I'm gonna pause this for a second. Andrea, can you read that question for me? Uh, yes, Meg Walker wants to know if the TT was cordless, the TT702. Yes, the TT702 is cordless, and I know we cooked through that real quick, so I'm sorry, Meg. The TT702 is extra heavy duty, just like the speed cut, made for us in Italy. We are the North American distributor on it, and it is cordless. Tremendous cutter. It's expensive, but if you need to be cordless, this tool will take really good care of you guys, whether it's carpet, turf, or sports track. Okay, so let's move on to the next tool. And this is our model RSWS. RSWS is another USA-made cutter. This is our most industrial cutter. Six-inch blade, push-button sharpening. You could set it up a multitude of ways, on a table or with an upright handle like you're seeing now on the video. Um, it, it is so industrial. I always tell customers, you know, hey, we have these difficult applications, and it's no matter what we try, it just won't cut the mustard. Try the RSWS, however you'd like it set up. Um, and I guarantee you it's going, to make, it's, going to, it's going to make a difference in your workroom. Here's another way that we have it set up with a walk-behind cart. Now, the walk-behind cart, we set this up for customers to do runners or small rugs. And uh, there's a guide at the edge. We set up the cutter in the middle like you see, and it's fully adjustable, has all the features of the RSWS. And you'll see here in the demo, you're literally walking behind it, and it's going to cut through carpet real like, for lack of a better way to describe it, like a hot knife through butter. Um, moving on to the next tool, we have, and essentially it's just going to be the rest of our tools, forgive me. We have other handhelds, we have other carpet base cutters, 
And those tools you can find on our website. Just for lack of, for sake of time today, we didn't want to bog you down with everything we offer, but we're gonna focus on the primary tools. You can find the rest of them on our website, in action videos, etc. And they're queuing me for another question. Andrea, what do you got? Uh, Julie Giles wants to know if there's a base guide for the cutter. Yes, if you simply wanted to place a cove base guide on the edge of your RSWS cutter, you can. Whether or not you put the upright handle or not is immaterial. We can set up the RSWS with a cove base guide on the edge if you so choose. Definitely. Great question. We've had that a number of times over the years. Moving on to our carpet binder section. NC carpet binders, like I said earlier, are made in the same place, the same way since the beginning of time, since our family started the business. Um, we're gonna jump right into the portable binders, but first, you're gonna get a graphic here. If you could pause on this for a second, this is the special that we run every year at Surfaces, and we know these are our biggest selling machines, these along with the portable sergers. Um, we're gonna offer this now, and it'll be good through let's just say next week. You have your gold, platinum, and diamond packages, and uh, they provide a very big savings. These are really curtailed for someone who's starting fresh. A new carpet store hasn't done binding before, but if you're someone that does binding, you need a new machine, you guys know the prices, um, and the packages really provide a savings. At the same time, kind of give you everything you need to get started and have a ready-made business. So let's jump into our first model, which is our model PBS. And that's not the right flyer. Skip that one. It's okay. It's okay, we'll get there. Here we go. Here's our model PBS. Single polar binder. It's our first portable we invented or came out with back in 1969. Uses a bobbin. I call it old reliable. And um, most of you guys have these or have used or have seen them. We still have originals that come back in for service to this day. Okay? Um, little, I like to consider the PBS the little brother, okay? Its big brother is model PBT. The PBT is the double puller version. It has two clutch driven pullers versus one on that PBS that you just saw. So what's the difference? Same machine, same speed, same um, capabilities as far as using attachments, but the double puller PBT has a second clutch driven puller which gives you twice the pulling power. So it works better on your heavier rugs when you want to do blind stitch wide borders, et cetera. So if you guys can queue up that PBT model, that'd be great. I don't know if we're having technical difficulties or not, but here's our model PBS. And the PBS here, you'll see, has a single feed wheel, okay? The double puller has two feed wheels. The PBS we're also giving away. So if you're tuned in today, you're automatically being entered to win an NC PBS carpet binder, okay? If you on social media before the end of today post using one of the NC machines or tools on your Facebook page or Instagram page and tag us, you're gonna be entered to win one of these, all right? We're also gonna be giving away a $500 basket of NC carpet binding tapes different sizes, different widths, et cetera, and we can kind of curtail that to what you want. Let me put this down for a second, forgive me. Your PBS and your PBT will use your normal binding attachments you guys are used to. Also, especially the PBT, I would lean more towards using blind stitch wide borders and or the top stitch wide border, which you'll see here. This will take your NC three inch tape, fold it in half, and bind with a top stitch. Now we also have the blind stitch wide borders. If I'm holding this correctly with the camera, I can't tell. Your carpet's gonna go here, your wide border tape is going to go here, and you're gonna run it through your machine. So you can achieve a blind stitch where you sew down, you fold over and glue on the back, and as you guys know, a big money maker nowadays, uh, price per foot is growing and growing and growing. If you're not doing blind stitch wide borders or top stitch wide borders, uh, you're missing out. You're gonna use your NC binder to, to do all of this. Now we're showing the PBS again, which hopefully will roll into the PBT. 
So there's our single puller again. If you want to skip to the PBT, please do so. Here we go. Here's our model PBT. Sorry to get off track there for a minute, but we squeezed in some other important info. PBT is, looks the same, same speed. It's just a big brother. So what? It's got bigger muscles. It's going to go through your heavier rugs much easier. It's got twice the pulling power of the PBS. So if you encounter heavier rugs, large rugs with a on a consistent basis, I would advise spending the extra money and going with the double puller. Uh, it's a bobbin type machine, just like the single puller. Everything about it is the same. You could put on your surge tape, your three inch, your blind stitch wide borders. And I have a question. Let's pause for a second. Yeah, we buy back all our machines. So if you have three NC PBSs sitting there and you strip parts off it or a Millennium and you've taken parts off it or a machine that um, you're just not using anymore because if you accumulated more or want to get out of the business, whatever the case, if it's an NC binder, we'll buy them back. You just call the office, maybe send over some pictures or send us an email, sales at nccarpet.com. Send over pictures, give us the serial number so we know what year it was manufactured and then we'll give you a buy price. And if that doesn't work, you know, you can put them on eBay, whatever works for you, but we'll give you, the, give you a price. And if you do do a trade-in, we'll also entitle you to a discount on a new machine right now. So you just let us know you drive and we'll follow. Just let us know. Okay, moving on to our bobbinless portable Millennium. The Millennium we invented back in the year 2000. What does it do versus the other machines? It's bobbinless. So you're going to eliminate that little bobbin every 150 feet, throw it out, it's that 150 foot bobbin is replaced by a 6,000 yard cone of thread. So you're gonna bind thousands of feet without having to change thread. Speed wise, it's three times faster. The PBS, just pause on me for a minute, don't run any more video. The PBS has one puller, the PBT has two. Those are the bobbin type machines. The bobbinless machine has three clutch driven pullers, the third of which also, uh, sorry, the third one comes from the bottom. So you have one, two and a third clutch driven feed wheel pulling from the bottom plus the feeder and we've called that our four by four. Um, we're currently on our fifth edition right now and they actually outsell the other two binders due to the fact of the time saving on the job, the industrial ability, they're a straight stitch, you want to oil it, you push a button, less moving parts, less downtime, all the benefits that a newer style machine would have and this is at this point I guess I'm creeping up in age, that's when I started, uh, the year 2000. So they're 20 year old technology for us and every batch we improve them. We have another question, Ange, let me have it. Uh, Kathy Lovetree, or Kath Lovetree, she's interested in a walking foot machine. She's currently using the Juki 1508. She's happy with the Juki, but she wants to know how our walking foot compares. Okay, well the walking foot machines is more for our, um, Textile, uh, sorry, more for the upholstery side of things. And this is more of our custom rug, um, you know, more of our cu custom rug showcase as far as the trade show goes. So, Kathy, call the office. You can get on the phone with anybody there. They'll walk you through differences, pricing, et cetera, and we're happy to give you a savings today, too, if you want to purchase an upholstery side style machine. Okay, another question. Uh, Letitia wants to know, uh, can the top stitch three inch attachment? Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah, if you have a Millennium now, we can send you a three inch attachment, put it on there. Uh, if you have an older Millennium, it's gonna have to come in for retrofitting, but the last, I believe the 2009 and the 2017 versions, we can just send you the attachment, we'll send it with instructions, and you put it right on your machine. Otherwise, if you're worried, send the machine to us, we'll retrofit it and have you set up for it, no problem. Of course, we also sell the byproduct for that. We have a 52 color line in our standard three inch and five inch, and then our new executive line we launched a couple years ago has 35 different styles in three inch and five inch. If you wanna put that graphic up again on the specials, Ryan, for the starter packages, that would be great. This way they can look through those. And you have your gold, platinum, and diamond packages with your machines, model PBS, PBT, and Millennium. That's available to you guys now starting today and good through next week. So definitely let us know. If you're not sure, get your call in, get your inquiry in, find out everything you need to know, and we'll be happy to forward that on. But we will, after next week, firmly um, end that special next Friday. 
Okay, we can move that on to the next slide. Now we're going to jump into our table models. And again, this is a little crunched. We did not anticipate that. Why would you want a table model binder? Biggest reasons. You bind five to ten times faster than portables. Uh, you're decreasing your labor costs and body strain. You're working in an upright position. You'll need an air table or a roller track system. That's easy enough. We can educate you on that. But table models are faster, more industrial. If you have a high volume workroom or you're just tired of being on your hands and knees, consider a table model. We have them new. We have them reconditioned. And on top of being a time saver, they really, really make your life a lot easier, especially when you're doing high-end custom rugs. Our first table model is going to be model TPB, which we'll roll into here now. TPB, USA made, the industry's first ever bobbinless machine that my grandfather and uncle invented in 1959 and brought to market for a company called Bambergers, now Sears. Hopefully, still Sears. Um, <laughs> this unit can do similarly to the PBT and the Millennium, all the different edgings. Three inch, five inch, regular binding, serge tape, fringe. You can apply it all, and the beauty of the TPB is it's still USA made. All your attachments fit on the machine. They're quick change attachments, which you can easily view on the website in greater detail. And um, that's our flagship table model. Most, more times than not, when someone calls for a table model, hey, I do a little base, I do a little area rugs, I do remnants. Um, okay, TPB sounds perfect for you. If you do a little bit of everything, it's going to take good care of you. Now, the next table model is our model 81200S, as in Sam. If the TPB is the Jeep Cherokee of off-road carpet binding, this is the Army-issued Humvee. It is our most heavy-duty industrial table model. Just like the TPB, it does it all as far as the edgings. Does that have quick change attachments, so it'll take you a minute or two longer to get into an edging that you want to switch to. But if you're a three-inch guy, five-inch guy, you get into a lot of Berbers and Sisals. Um, that's a home run for you. It's, we have a lot of customers that live by it because they constantly encounter heavy, thick-backed rugs. Um, at the same time, it comes stock with an inch and a quarter guide. So you could do your regular carpet binding as well, not just your, your wide borders. And we got another question. Andrea, what do you got? Uh, Doug Hayward wants to know if you'll be running a trade show showcasing our, our upholstery machines. Yes. We've been trying to get the word on that um, sparingly. But we will be doing it the first week in November. We launched that about a month ago. If you're tuned into the hog ring, um, that's the best bet. Or follow us on our social media, and you would know when we'll be doing that. We tried to keep it quiet because we didn't want to mix both sectors. I have my aircraft and auto clients, which are two big niche markets for us. And this, of course, being our primary market, the custom rug guys. I didn't want it to bleed. But if you want a machine and you have to save now, we're happy to provide the discount. We'll be running those specials. you know probably in about a month's time, and then having the online trade show virtual, just like this, with our upholstery side for the aircraft and auto, RV, marine interiors. Good question. Let's go to the next table model, please. And I'm ahead of my line on the floor here. OK, you have your model SB2. This is our newest SB code base binder. Fastest carpet binder in the industry, 60 feet per minute. You could run this all day long for the next 20, 30 years, and it's going to keep coming back for more. Um, I know Cove Base, like we said earlier, is quiet, but if you're doing Cove Base and you're doing it in volume and you want to run 3,000 plus feet per hour, taking your time, that's your machine. You get a 15,000 foot, 10,000 foot, 5,000 foot Cove Base job, and you want to cook through it in a day, that's your machine. And you'll have plenty of room, uh, plenty of time left over to do something else. And our next unit, I believe, is the SBA2, if I recall. This is our automated sample binder. Now, we pretty much sell these to carpet mills, like Mohawk, um, someone that does a lot of samples, you know, um, it's a company like ASC Sampling or the sample companies down in Georgia that do a lot of the sample mats for the carpet stores. We also have, you know, carpet stores Flooring stores that buy them, carpet liquidators, uh, sorry, flooring liquidators out in California is the most recent purchase about three or four months ago. And um, those guys have one. They've been running it for months. They have, must have a good map program, and they love it. Next machine, please. OK, 
Okay, here's our model BAC, also been around for a while. We had a huge run of sales on these for many years to you guys, guys that get tired uh, when they encounter inside circles, abrupt turns, acute angles. The BAC is tremendous at combating those. Um, we have a lot of our aircraft, auto and marine guys that will purchase these machines, but you have to have volume. It's an $8,000 machine. It's not something you just buy unless when you get inside turns, inside circles, radiuses, seat tracks, you grow tired of it, we have the available machine. It's tremendous. It's a great asset to any established workroom. Not something you're buying first, unless you're doing, you know, the auto, the aircraft, marine, etc. But um, for a regular carpet workroom, hundreds are out there and functioning. Sorry, I was waiting for the next one. Now, some of our specialty units, guys. We have in. Uh, our 81200 SM, which is a mitered cornering machine we came up with about 20 years ago. This machine is another high volume machine. If you have to do mitered corners, they need to look mitered but not precise by hand. This is a home run. Uh, we sell them to big corporations. The Walmarts of the world, when they do these kind of mats, will call on us for this. Um, you'll see some more specialty machines. There is a sample of our NC2 edging, which does two different top stitch double needle bindings. Um, Super simple machine that gives you two different looks. And um, the table model, of course, you get a standard two, two needle stitch, also that bulky one that you're gonna see in one second, which will have four threads and it really stands out. Makes a statement, looks different. It's the only machine in the world that's been set up to do so. That's our model NC2. And I think I'm closing the show with a couple more units. Here's our blind stitch table model tapestry unit, similar to um, what we talked about before with that attachment, but a dedicated machine for the blind stitch borders. We also have portable versions, which we'll get to later. Now, here is our model 1508 upholstery machine set up for binding. So if you do mats or like similar to the BAC table model, you've grown tired of um, you know, the inside turns that plague you, round corners, round rugs, things of that nature. This style machine provides an affordable option that really makes life easier on you on the acute angles, rounded rugs, etc. Sorry, had to take a drink of water there. Here's some finished samples on that unit that you can take a peek at. And then we're going to roll into our next segment. There's a nice little testimonial there from Kenny at MS Surging. Been with us for many, many, many years. Table model, and I still remember when he bought his portable serger about, got to be 10, 12 years ago. And they've been doing it for a very long time. Carpet sergers, what do we get with a carpet serger, guys? If you don't serge, pause here for a second for me, Ryan. Thank you. If you don't do serging and you're just doing binding, you're missing out. Let your customer choose what they want. If it's a regular poly binding and you're getting a dollar or two a foot, wonderful. If it's serging, you're going to do the same amount of work in the same amount of time and be paid usually two to three times the amount of regular binding, and some cases even more. Surging is the high end edging, just like wide borders would be. And um, you know, we have portables, we have table models, which we're gonna go through now. And uh, one of our great customers and friends, Kirk from Art Underfoot, said it best to me one day. He goes, you know, we spend the same time on the job binding that we do surging. And, and that's really the reason that, he, that I do surging, Mal as many surging jobs as possible because the payoff is higher. You're paying more per foot, sorry, commanding more per foot for surging versus standard binding. And I think Kurt has one or two of every machine we have, so he could attest to that for sure. Um, your first carpet serger is probably our biggest selling machine outside of the portable binders, and that is our portable carpet serger. It is built off our heavy duty table model mainframe, which we've had in conjunction with Union Special, which is the bodies that we purchase and turn them into carpet machines since the 1950s. This is a portableized version, just like your portable binders. You lose nothing as far as portability. What do you gain? Table model strength in a portable, and you can do your serging on the job site or in-house, anywhere you want. Same concept as your portable binder. And um, you roll into a couple of pictures of the portable serger. There'll be a close-up on the front. And then we spin it around from the back and you get to see a nice little surged edge. 
Okay, you see the tape coming in. Pause here for a second. Don't let that confuse you. The tape is an underlay. What does the underlay do? The underlay stops the carpet pile from busting through your serge. In addition, it makes a, it just makes a nice, tight, clean finish. If it's in a high traffic zone, you don't want to see your serging separate. You use the same color tape underneath you serge as the yarn, and no one's the wiser, especially from a, diff from a distance. Having the unsightly carpet pile bust through on a custom rug is at this stage of the game, amateur hour. We've had these, this technology in place. We invented it, I believe it was 1997, about three or four years before my time. Next machine, we're gonna dive into the table model carpet sergers. Here's our flagship. This is our 81200 TPWAB. This unit is what the portable serger is built off of. And um, you know, if you have a table model workroom and you're running these machines, Anyone from Norison to Stark to, you know, mom and pop, mom and pop carpet stores, as well as custom workrooms. That's the workhorse. You can put that in play six, eight, ten hours a day, and she'll be back for more the next day. Table models are USA made still, all in the same place, like I alluded to earlier, and um, great machines. Any questions, by the way, Inch? No questions. Guys, anybody have questions or wants to get involved, you know, fire away on the machines. That's what we're hoping for and, you know, really want to try to answer some questions or things that we're not thinking of to say. Um, your next machine is essentially a born off of the uh, same machine mainframe, but this one's set for cornering. So if you have a workroom and you encounter large area rugs and you need to, again, manipulate crazy twists and turns, acute angles, round rugs, this is our 81200 Air RF, okay? Set up with the binding tape underlay and you'll see the maneuverability on it is great. And similarly, it's also great, same as this unit is on our portable serger. So these units give you that maneuverability factor that a stock machine would not. Okay, so we got some feedback at least. That's good. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. Moving on to the next machine. I think this is our Model HS, if I remember in the order. The revolutionary NC Model HS produces a hand surge look, thus presenting a minimal border that designers have craved for years. Our USA-made unit is available in both table model and portable setups. It generates a variety of finishes that range from a tight, clean look to a rough appearance where the carpet pile shows through. The finishes are easily adjustable and open to your own creativity or preference. The sewing operator can adjust the stitch length as well as the depth. The appearance and finish will vary depending on the carpet pile, style, and construction. Okay, I picked up some props while you guys were gone, but we're losing me on the camera feed here. I don't know why, but you guys are losing me on the camera feed, so I'm going to crouch down. Um, yeah, a little Q&A, Ange. You got a question? Uh, yes. Carpet Specialist uh, wants to know if there's any substantial maintenance cost or life difference between the portable serger and the TPWAB. No, I don't think it would be anything substantial, but it is a good question. If you had to, you know, asking me which one would cost more to maintain, for sure the portable. Table models are equipped with a three-quarter horsepower motor. Um, it's not on the ground. It's not getting banged around. It's not moving around in a truck. Table models are staying in your workroom and you are going to them every day, standing up, you know, and operating essentially like I am, just like this. You have a rug next to you. It's going to feed in with your machine next to it. You're going to step on the pedal. You're not manhandling the carpet. You're not twisting and turning the machine. So great question. The maintenance on a table model is definitely going to be less cost-wise and time-wise than a portable, 100%. Now, another question, okay? <laughs> really want to know if the tape underlay makes the surgeon look bulky. No. Well, I mean, it could make it a little bulkier. If you take, the, take it out of the equation, you could notice a little bit of a difference. And if you, if you don't want to employ it, you don't have to. Take it out of the equation, it's still going to surge. Now, we just watched a video real quick uh, that cooked through our Model HS. This is one of our newer inventions. We came up with this back in, I think, 2018, and it's been met with some pretty good success. Here's a regular surge, which you can see the thickness, okay? I'm going to move it over and hold it next to a what I call our hand surge or minimal surge. You can vary the look. You can vary, I'm trying to get this the right angle here. 
You can vary the look to a more refined look or have the rough look. Depending on the rug, like we had some of the Stark guys in and we were going through this one before we launched the unit and they were really impressed with the varial, you know, variable looks you could, you could get. Most impressive is the minimal edge. That's what everybody wants, something different. It's exponentially smaller than any other units that are out there and it's not even close, frankly. Um, and that's it, guys. Just wanted to show that real quick so you can get a good look at it. And that's our model HS. Also available in portable, not just a table model version. You can use a portable, you can order it as a portable machine or order it as a table model machine, either way. Do you have another question, Ange? No? Okay. Let's move on now. This is our model 81200 Air. And I want to do, knock out two models in one here. It's essentially our stock serger setup, built off that famous 81200 mainframe, but also made for maneuvering. So if you wanted a stock three-thread serger, okay, versus a two-thread wraparound serger like we've been looking at, the 81200 Air is perfect. It's a lot less money than the machines with the rear pullers, so it's a big savings there. And if you're doing applications that don't justify the tape underlay or a wraparound surge, the 81200 Air is a complete home run for you and also gives you that maneuverability factor, which is so important. You know, we got a question. Go ahead. You can adjust how wide, did I, let me repeat the question. Alex asked if the HS size can vary, and it can. Can you get a full surge out of the HS? Absolutely not. It's gonna be a smaller surge, but you can vary the depth, and meaning how much the surge shows. That you can vary. The biggest thing you could vary is the stitch length super tight stitch length or separated, which is easy adjustments. We have those videos on YouTube and um, you know, can help guide you through those kind of things. Next question. Going back to the uh, portables, they want to know if an old millennium can be updated to new specs. Can an old millennium carbon binder be updated to new specs? If you have originals that don't have the rear pullers, uh, the second puller system or the handle, there's definitely things that we can do. Call the office, talk to them, but we have done upgrades. We don't really do them in recent years, we haven't, I can't recall doing too many. There may be one or two here or there, but um, yeah, call the office and there are definite upgrades that are available. It'll depend on the model, it'll depend on what you have or don't have, but we definitely could accommodate certain things. That's not a problem. Okay? All right, we're gonna move on to the next one. And now we'll go through our edgings. 95% of our edgings are USA made. Your regular poly binding, cotton bindings, yeah, fringe, too much stuff and it's going to run like through some me. stuff here. They have too much stuff for me. It's like a kit in the candy store. When you have a, a problem and find out, you can come to NC and they have the thing that can solve that problem. That's a win-win for me. Here's our carpet binding tapes, yarns, and fringes. Sorry, I just had an accident with our tapes. I dropped everything on my way to pick up some edgings. Our edgings, like I said, USA made. You have carpet binding tapes. You have rug fringe. You have different sizes, three inch, five inch, seven eighths, inch and a quarter, three quarter, um, two color cotton yarns, all available. You can view online color charts. You can order hard copy color charts, whatever you need. You just let us know, and we'll try to get these in your hands. Um, you know, your first stock order, if you don't have order charts from us before and you're switching from another vendor. Hey, Mal, we're switching over. We never ordered from you before. Okay, get a couple orders of surging yarn, and we'll include the free chart on the house. Um, you know, rug fringe has been real popular lately. That's something that's made a pretty nice little comeback. So we have some oriental rug fringe available at 11 yard bolts. Uh, but our biggest movers are always gonna be the poly binding, cotton tapes in the various sizes, as well as um, your surging yarn. Surging yarn being the biggest grower, I would say, over the last 10, 15 years. Surging yarn, as people are starting to do surging versus just binding, becoming a more complete shop and doing all the edgings is the way to go. Keeps your competition at bay, and your surging and wide borders is what brings in the big bucks for you guys. Yes, question. Uh, Yes, I mean, well over, the last time we checked, over 98.9% .9 of the time bindings are in stock. When we left the shop today, maybe there was three or four different items out of 1,400 and 
50 some odd edgings that were out. So that gives you an idea, um, you know, how many, we stock hundreds of thousands of dollars in binding, surgings, and fringe in our shop, and that takes up more space, believe it or not, I would say than the machines, is our stock in edgings, because that's what's most important to you guys. We go the extra mile, we keep them stocked, we over order, and then sometimes, like we had a 10797 surging yarn recently go out of stock. We had, I believe, Stark came in and ordered a ton of it, and maybe Fabrica, whatever it was, and we got cleaned out. So it does happen, and it, sometimes it's with a color that doesn't move. It just, you know, someone will come in and order 65 cones, and we're empty. Um, it does tend to happen, but we go above and beyond as much as we can to keep them in there and ready for you. So if you call, get your order in before 2 p.m. Eastern, you know what's going to go for you. Okay, answer other question. Uh, yes, Alex wants to know what, attachments, what attachment is used for the fringe application, specifically the PBT portable. Okay, we have a fringe guide for the PBT portable. We also have a YouTube instructional video that shows you how it goes on and kind of how to manipulate it. It's easy, but sometimes you feel like you want to have a third hand because um, you got to manipulate the carpet, the fringe, and the trigger. But if you take your time, people use it nonstop. You don't have to outsource your fringe to someone who has an attachment. You can definitely do it on your own. Um, call the office, we'll tell you how, and we can send you that video, or you can find it on YouTube as well. Yes? Uh, Letitia from Red Bluff Interiors wants to know if the buyback program applies to handheld shears. Handheld shears. It depends. Just call the office with any kind of buybacks, guys. Call the office. It's easier. Send us emails, sales at nccarpet.com, and just let us know, hey, I want to trade this in for a particular model, or I just outward, you know, just outright wish to sell it back, and uh, you know, they'll give you a price. Like an NC 311, it's not something we would probably buy back. There's really no market for a, a tool that's $275 new to sell it used. Very limited. Someone's going to spend the money on a $300 tool. Now, a PBS binder, a Millennium, a, you know, portable surgery, different story. You know, then it's there's definitely a bigger market for those. Okay. Uh, we're going to move on to our next slide. And now we're going to get into wide border machines. Wide border machines for the blind stitching, we have two portables and one table model. Our newest portable uh, unit, which we invented this year, is our model WBM. Now why would we come out with another portable? Um, the WBM actually was given to us by our customer, uh, Adam in New York, and Adam told us, he's from Jar Star Flooring, he goes, you know, he saw one of our machines that we use for nosing, he goes, would this work for blind stitching? And my father said, you know what, Adam, it might. They tried it right then and there, Adam was thrilled with it, it laid his wide borders completely flat, even leather, which was his biggest concern, and poof, we had a new machine, it wasn't even our idea, customer gave it to, had given it to us, and we've done, you know, we've done that numerous times over the years with your guys' input, and we grow. But Adam really gave us the idea right there in our showroom, I think it was the end of last year, maybe middle of last year, um, thinking, yeah, it had to have been. So the WBM's been out now for close to a year and has done extremely well. That is a heavy-duty table model built as a portable. So you're getting table model strength, in a portable format, and it's going to lay your wide borders perfectly flat. Ange, what do you got? Oh, you want to run, want to run that? Okay, we, they want to run something real quick for you guys. I'm going to take a break, get some water. I'll be right back. NC Carpet's uh, products and services are top notch. I'm just happy to be lucky that I'm five or six miles away from them. I know they do business with people all over the country and all over the world, so they're in my backyard. They're our go-to source. I don't have to go anywhere else. And I'm back, guys. Okay, um, we were into the WBM Wide Border Portable Binder, and I'll be honest with you, I can't remember, did we queue that up yet, or no? The WBM? Mm -hmm. no, the WBM. We did that, we ran through, that was the last model. Okay, moving on to the next Wide Border uh, Portable Machine. This is our PBTT, similar to our portable. It's built off that mainframe. We lift everything out, move it so you can fit your carpets, and you're able to get up to six inches uh, you know, on the carpet surface with a blind stitch. Same as the WBM we just discussed. It's a dedicated wide border machine, and you sew down, fold over, and glue on the back, both the WBM and, of course, this model and our next table model. After you're done sewing it down, you could also do miters on the corners, you know, which is 
another big money maker. If you're not involved with that, ask us, and uh, we'll try to help you learn how to do some miters. Table model blind stitch wide border machine. Um, same concept as the portables, but I guess more so for a high volume workroom. If you don't want to be on your hands and knees with a portable, this is the unit you go for. Um, we've sold these over the years to custom workrooms, whether it's you know Harry's in New Jersey or an OEM down in Georgia or wherever the case, Canada, United States, everywhere. They're bobbinless, just like all our table model carpet binders. So you can bind thousands of feet without changing thread, sew your wide borders down, get up to about eight, eight and a half inches on the surface, fold over and glue. And um, I think that's it for the blind, stitch, the blind stitch section. And we're just about done with the machines as well. We have some other tools and different things that I, I, we're not going to go through all of it today, guys. We really wanted to keep this brief. Here's our carver carvers. We have electric. We have air carvers. Those are design carvers done for touch-up work or creating custom rugs. Uh, they're both made here in the USA, available for sale, of course. And we support those like any other NC machine with same-day 24-hour repair service and supply shipping. Moving on to the next slide, we'll be looking, we have latex glues, we have glue guns, um, you know, something as simple as ice picks if you need them. I mean, whatever you guys can think of, ask us if we have something great. If not, here's a millennium set up to do nosing. So we have nosing machines that put on the rubber reducer on entrance mats. We have the millennium. We also have an extra heavy duty unit that's built off our table model that you can inquire about. Um, so there's all different kind of machines, machine setups, and if you're just getting started and you've never done it before, you can bind for as little as two cents a foot or a little less. Our clear binding tape we have costs less than two cents a foot, guys. Um, it really can't be beat as far as the cost goes. And um, just let us know what we can do to help or advise you if you're a new guy or you know existing customers. Did you have another question, Ange? <laughs> uh, Tim's, it's a good way to end yeah, it's okay. Tim's bragging on us a little bit. Thank you, Tim, asking why our machines are the best. Well, we try to, you know, we make mistakes like anybody else. We try to make up for them. Like, I wouldn't say like anybody else, but we'll always try to make up for them. Um, our machines are made in the USA. They're built once to last you a lifetime. We're not chasing someone else, copying other people. We enjoy being the innovator, bringing things to market first, and having the reputation of having the best equipment. We hope. We hope that's the case. Um, you know, we hear it a lot of times from customers, and we really appreciate that, Tim, and thank you for the plug. But with our precision machines, same day service, help, and everything else, we try to be as quick as we can, to respond as quick as we can to your needs, and hopefully have a machine that's perfect for what everybody needs to do, whether it's the surging, binding, wide borders, mats, etc. cetera. Um, we have an option for everything. One more question, what do you got? <laughs> All right, Robin from O'Fallon, Illinois. Famous Robin, go ahead. She wants to know how the new wide border is different from the older one. The new wide border tape? I'm, I'm, I'm imagining that she's saying machine. Machine, okay. Robin, what are you talking about? <laughs> okay, well, the wide border tapes we had forever, three inch and five inch, our three inch and five inch line of wide border tapes we had for standard quality for a million years. We came out with our high end executive line which is the ringlet, which we came out with about two years ago. It's got a lot of different decorative options, two color options, as well as you know, single color options. So that tape, versus the original tape, has more points. It's thicker. Um, just the quality and the composition is better. We have polyester and cotton offerings there, mainly cotton. And um, that would be the main difference. Now, as far as the machines go, the newest blind stitch border machine is built off the table model, the other one, is a portable, both are fine. Just sold a regular PBTT portable, the white one, this morning before I left. Um, good machine, great machine. The other one is just the you know, heavier duty version and will really, like Adam helped us come up with the idea, his concern on leather and some other soft goods as a blind stitch border to lay flat. And that's exactly what that accomplishes, which is our model WBM. Another question. Yeah, if you go to our website, you know, Mouse Over Tools, click on the, um, you know, 
click on the, the carpet carver section. There's images, there's more intensive videos, and you'll be able to read a little bit more on the carpet carvers. Another uh, question. Want to know how controllable is the RSWS stand-up version, and can they expect to control it to accurately enough cut felt area rug pads? Yeah, I mean, you could use it to cut rug pads. That's not a problem, or we have handhelds that can do that. The RSWS, you're gonna walk behind it, so some customers will set up a track system on the floor, set up their cart, uh, sorry, set up the RSWS in the cart. It's on wheels, so the RSWS will roll along the floor. And as you saw in that video, we are walking behind it with fingertip controls. So it's pretty easy. Staying on course and on track, we're going to leave that up to you guys, but people do it every day. Um, our biggest user on that model is Rug Renovating in New Jersey, another New Jersey customer. Um, and rug renovating does massive volume, as a lot of you carpet cleaning and rug restoration guys know. Um, they could speak to that machine as far as usage and what they do to help keep straight. But I know the track system has been a popular way to go in years past. So where are we, Ryan? Any more slides? That's it. All right. So we're going to come to a close. Listen, guys, we really appreciate you being here, watching with us, tune in with us when we go live on the next trade show. And at the same time, follow us on our social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube is big. There's a lot of how-tos there, guys. Watch the YouTube videos. They can be cumbersome and a little long sometimes, but you'll definitely pick up some tricks of the trade, how to use attachments, et cetera. And um, we hope to hear from you soon. Thank you so much for tuning in. We really appreciate it. And we appreciate your loyalty to the NC brand and family. And we um, wait to hear from you. Thank you so much.